Rita. Amazing, Dan. You even remember my name. What I don't know is how you got aboard. Me either. Uh, oh, I must have swallowed an octopus. Anyway, you're getting off. <laughs> Going kind of fast, ain't you, Danny boy? Meet Mr. Lane, my new fiance. You think it's so impossible? I've never known a man like Bully. He's so gentle, so lonesome, so helpless. What woman could resist him? Besides, I like ocean travel. And book yourself passage on a junk for China. Your new girlfriend is leaving now. Now, that ain't charitable, Danny boy. There's a note of human kindness. It's a long swim back to Port Good from here. Swim? Who ordered us out to sea? Your partner, naturally. You weren't in very crisp shape to give orders yourself. What did she sell you, Bully? A fake map of a sunken treasure or an island in the sky? This. Black Pearl. <laughs> I thought I knew all the bills that floated in with the tide. Where'd you get it? Out of the eye of a red-headed mermaid? Teacup. Come. Teacup. Who is he? A native of the palace. I picked him up in Port Good. Took care of him out of the kindness of your heart, I suppose. As a matter of fact, yes. He drifted over 300 miles in an outrigger. Only one of his tribe able to get outside his own reef. Whispering the name of the secret island, I suppose. Yes. He's dead. I suppose there is such a place. How are you going to find it? We know all about that island. The Dutch trader offered me 5,000 pounds for that pearl. A million bucks split three ways. Cut yourself in or out, partner. What are you going to trade for him? Glances or prayers? Prayers, maybe. Well, Captain Boss, you going to swim back to poverty or bob for golden apples? A million dollars split three ways. You got yourself a deal. Nice girl, eh, boss? Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> I can't get away. I... Break it off. There were words that weren't with it, but I... I seem to have forgotten them. You might help me to remember. I said break it off. She's still a nice girl, boss. Dino! Take over. What are you trying to start? You got bully drooling, now you're aiming your bed at me. I told you to keep away. Why did you do it, Dan? Why did you cut and run? Man does a lot of things he doesn't give himself reasons for. Greed, that's what it was. Greed for money. Money for you and your girls. Anything you happen to fancy. When it 
came to me or money, I didn't stand a chance. But all right, I want money too. Enough to buy me anything or any man. And that's all it takes is money. Better to break clean. I wanted you to forget me. Well, I didn't forget you. I saw your face in every man's face I looked at. I got rid of a lot of hate that way. But it was your face I wanted to see again. I promised myself that you'd know and feel that hate. And if hate could kill, you'd be dead a thousand times. So it's a big world. With a bully Haig waiting on every corner. Wait, you... Ask for a sign. O oh, Tagaloa, hear my voice. Give us your answer for the good of your people. Your eyes are bright to see the wind from whence it blows. Give us a sign. Tagaloa consents to this betrothal. It is good the son of the high priest should marry the daughter of the warrior chief. It is good. Oh, well. Would it please you to be betrothed to George? I have always loved him, Tuan Michael. When the taboo is lifted, I shall not look at any other man. You make me very happy, Momo. <laughs> ah! We will speak to my son. George, we have only to set the wedding day. When you're married to Momu, you'll be more than just my son. You'll be a leader. And one day, you'll take my place as high priest. Do you understand? But you've taught me so much about the outside world, Father. There's another way of life. Believe me, my son, you're very fortunate. I've seen the outside world, and I know whereof I speak. Men who live in that world have always sought a happier place than their own. Some far off isle of contentment. Many have sought it, but few ever find it. Long ago, a 
troubled man found this place, the Prince of India. He built this temple, and here he lived in peace with his God. Since his time, nothing here has changed. Each generation has lived like the other, tranquil and happy. But the world outside has changed, and not for the better. This is a cause for sorrow. So as long as I live, I shall keep this island just as I found it. And you will help me, not for yourself alone, but for your children. And you will all be happier for it. If only I could see a little of the outside world. India, perhaps. Or Paris. My boy, since I first came here, only one man has ever left this island. You knew him, Takop. And I trust no evil will come of it. Takaloha will punish Takop. He will die. Better for us if he does, for Takop could destroy this island. He carried its secret away with him. Are they? Rita, better get ready. Me. Hear me? Are they? Yes, I hear you. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be persecuted for righteousness' sake. you together here because it is a place of happy memories and it was here that I was married to the beloved mother of my son so let it be a good sign that this wedding take place here oh goddess of love lift the taboo between these two betrothed ones let them look upon each other the taboo is lifted the taboo is lifted the sea to one michael a ship how close to shore taku had it for the cove we must drive it away they must be married first to one michael let them wait it's a ship that matters these ships bring evil we must go at once but the goddess will be angry if the sacred rites are broken if the goddess is angry let her punish me sound the alarm <laughs> Hi. 
What is it? We're going to have visitors. We'll be ready for them. Looks like our white brother's got blood in his eye. Yeah. Convinces me we're on the right track. He's got something here he wants to keep to himself. You take the bar. Stop! When I raise my hand, attack! What ship is that? Cambuna, out of Sydney. No strangers may land here. Heed my warning and go before you feel the anger of Tagaloa. Not until we've finished our business. Get your canoes back to the beach or we'll blast them out of the water. Don't shoot, Bully. Set sail! Listen ye. Listen ye. Listen, O Isles, and hearken, ye people from afar. Behold, I am come as a light to the heathen, yea, as a messenger to the ends of the earth. We bring you a missionary. I've come to work with you, to help and bring you new tidings. We have no need of missionaries here. If we don't land this missionary, we don't get paid. I'll give you 10 seconds to change your mind. Let the foreign woman come ashore. I want to hear what she has to say about this outside world. No! If you send her away, I'll go too. Sometimes it takes poison to cure poison. I will send a canoe for her, but the rest of you must leave. We need provisions, fresh water, fruit. I will send them to you. Oh, you're very kind. I'm sure you'll be rewarded. Back to shore. I will bring you to my father. Ah, oh, thank you. Father? Looks like our white brother got himself something more than pearls on this island. Sure you're gonna be all right? Why does it matter to you? Don't take any chances. to have someone like you come here, too. Yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? Providential, you might say. I'm going to lean on you, George. I'm going to depend on you to show me everything on this island. Cover me. I'm going over and bring her back. Yeah. That'd explode things for sure. Let her play out our own hand. you all. Bless this island. 
Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Before you bestow your blessings, I must warn you. Your reprieve is not final. Come with me. I gather from your credentials, Mr. Lane, that you have been sent by the Missionary Society to extend the blessings of civilization. No doubt they are sincere, but we prefer to be left alone. Is this a becoming welcome, sir, when we've come so far to extend the hand of fellowship? I know what the hand of fellowship and the blessings of civilization have brought to the other islands. Sickness, drunkenness, greed, lust. I shall protect this island from these things as long as I can. And what a protector. Feeding them on idols and hate the stranger. I mean, sir, it's a sin to keep the savages in darkness without knowledge of the truth. My people are not savages, Mr. Lane. They are simple and honest. More so than most people I knew in the civilized world. You say mission people send you here? Yes. They want to help you. They want to take care of the sick and give you faith. Why? Well, uh, you have no faith. You don't worship God. Tagaloha is God. If you know a better one, you show him to us. I must consider this problem, Mr. Lane. Until it is settled, you must remain within these confines. And do not stray about the island. It would be dangerous. She is a foreign devil woman. The ship is a devil ship. It will bring evil to the island. It has already stopped the wedding. It is not good to break the sacred rites. The wedding must go on. It will take place in good time, Halamano. The good time is now. Until these strangers are gone, there will be no happiness for us. It is better for us they go now or die. Tagaloa must decide that. Has he not given us a good way of life? Has he not kept peace on the island? Be patient. Tagaloa will continue to protect us. Women in Paris, Paris and France. Do they swim in clothes like these? <laughs> well, they don't in San Francisco. It's still on your mind, huh? That's my business. No, no it ain't, mate. Not anymore. It's mine and Rita's. And when this business is over...
Wake up. Who is it? Dan. Oh, just a minute, I'll dress. Sailor. Oh, somebody stole my clothes. <laughs> Mike Coppolis. What are you doing here? Nothing if you're all right. Worried about me, Dan? I think I like that. Can't afford to lose you, that's all. You better get back to the ship. If you want to live, you go away. Take ship, leave our island. Go away. I burnt the clothes to on Michael. George was very angry about it. That woman has only been here a short time. And already you are a thief. Thank you, George. You're very handsome. Tell me, how come your father elected himself god around here? Tagaloa is their god. These people worship an idol, a symbol of God. I am only the high priest, but I rule here. Self-appointed, preaching Tagaloa. Sister Rita, if the people are kind and decent, what does it matter what they name their god? Your missionary clothes were burnt by Momu. Does that make you less a missionary in that native dress? Well, of course not, but I, I haven't begun my work yet. Oh, but you have. Take care, George. People don't fish with spears like other island people. My father changed that. When he first came to the island, it was harder for them to live than now. But he showed them many useful things. How to make a better life. So they wanted him for their chief. George, you're neglecting your studies. Sister Rita, it would be quite easy for me to send you packing together with your friends and the threat you bring to us. But in the eyes of my son, you're the outside world. So I must make the best of you. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making ships so it can sail like the birds. 
Those are three fine ships, all right. They could sail anywhere. Even to the moon, I bet. What's that? That's a concertina. It sings. Do it again. <laughs> One little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, ten little Indian boys. Ten little, nine little, eight little Indians, seven little, six little, five little Indians, four little, three little, two little Indians, one little Indian boy. A one. Four little, five little, six little Indians. Seven little, eight little, nine little Indians. Ten little Indian boys. Now, everybody. Ten little nine little eight little Indians, seven little six little five little Indians, four little three little two little Indians, one little Indian boy. Hey, look what I can do! Oh, be careful, you fall! Ah! Ah! Look at the masses! Oh, my leg! Oh, I told you not to do these things. Oh, I'll take him. Do one, Michael. Tuan Michael, Tuan Michael, come quick! Oh, Thomas, is, is it bad? Will he die? Is it bad? It's his ankle. I told him not to do these things. I told him. Splints and bandages, George. Oh. Yeah, it's broken. Oh! Be quiet. Wait outside, Junior. Oh, no, please, Tuan Michael, let me stay, please. All right, sit in that chair. You must help me. I have no anesthetic. Oh. It's going to hurt you, Tomas. But not bad. I know you have a man's courage. Juan Michael! Juan Michael! What is it, Pacar? White ship in trouble on the reef. All right, get a canoe quickly. Three fathoms! That's swell. You didn't have to make it that realistic. I'll go over and have a look. We had a little trouble with your coral reef. Were you sailing out backwards? Your bow is pointing towards shore. Better take it up with the wind. Cigar? He knows nothing of tobacco. My name's Dan Merrill. This is my partner, Bully Haig. How long will it take you to repair the damage, Mr. Merrill? Week, two weeks, maybe. Depends. We'll know till tomorrow, when we give her a thorough examination. You will confine your examination to your ship, Mr. Merrill. Don't worry, we won't steal any of your coconuts. George! Come back any time. We'll teach you navigation. Hard to think you're qualified to teach navigation, Mr. Merrill. Meanwhile, the other union men will go ashore. There will be guards posted along the beach. What are you trying to hide from? Trouble, Mr. Merrill. The kind that comes with men like you. Crazy as a coot, ain't he? Old Codger might be smarter than you think. Paka. I swam out to the boat. I dived beneath her to look at the damage. It has been repaired, one, Michael. 
There's no bad damage. This ship can sail. Godlocker says that these strangers must leave or be punished. It is Tagalo who must decide that, Halamano. He never played fair, or he doesn't care. But that doesn't change things for me. My feeling is too strong. I love him, right or wrong. I can't get away. I can't get away. I can't get away. The men on the ship, are they all right? Naturally, since they caused the accident to the ship themselves. They wouldn't do that. They would never wreck the ship. Why would they? They want something on my island, Miss Delane. But whatever it is, they won't get it. You have no faith left in anyone, have you? In wolves disguised in sheep's clothing. Well, maybe you're one of them yourself. Oh, sure. You mend the broken ankle free of charge. But you got a real good thing here for yourself, too. Talking to idols, passing out spears whenever a ship comes too close to your ten-cent kingdom. I shall protect these people if I have to kill to do it. Great white father. One man against the world, huh? Well, how long do you think you can keep civilization out of here with a handful of spears? What civilization? The world that sent you here? First comes the missionary with smooth, glib talk about faith and prayer. Then the traitor with rum and trinkets and disease, like the men who brought you here. For a moment today, I could almost believe there's good in you, Sister Rita. But your shipwrecking friends soon set me right again. Whatever you are, when they leave, you go with them. Tagaloa, say. And whatever they came after, you may save their lives, if not their souls, by advising them not to land. I want to talk to you. Let's go below. Would you take care of George? Sure. And uh, how is my little fiance? Fiance? What does that mean? Oh, nothing, George. Nothing at all. I wouldn't count on that, sister, if I were you. Come on, George. I'll show you the compass. What's holding us up? Something going wrong? Take your time. George fix it for us to go ashore or not? No, I didn't ask him to. Dan, that old man can read right through me. I think he had me figured out from the moment I landed on his beach. What difference does it make as long as we get what we came after? Find out anything about the pearls? Sure. They come from oysters. Don't try to be funny. That's all I know so far. Find out, hear me? Find out. We're not going to get away with it. He's made this place his world, and he's got no use for us in it. Let him keep his world. I didn't plot this course. I was loading rum for the Celebes when you shanghaied me. I wrecked this boat to keep you on that island. And I'm going to keep you there if I have to. If you have to what, Dan? Help us find those black beauties. It's your friend George. That ought to take too much coaxing for a woman of your experience. You ought to know. You help me get it. You get your black pearls, and I hope you end up sick to death of them. Flower for me. <laughs> You're very nice, George. It's sacred. 
My father gave it to me. Where would he find such a thing? In the lagoon. Come with me and I will show you. Wait a minute. Then follow me. Juan Michael. What is it, Momo? What is it? I follow them into the forest, Juan Michael. George and Sister Rita. One does not spy on people, Momo. <laughs> oh, be patient. It will pass. Do not be unhappy. What kind of be help must be borne bravely. <laughs> Looks like a wonderful place to swim. No one swims here. Why not? It's not for swimming. It is taboo. My father said... Oh, your father has lived here so long he thinks like a native. White men don't have suspicions and taboos. You want to be like the white men, don't you, George? One of the men who sail the ships across the big water? Why don't you show me that you're not afraid? Oh. All right. I'll show you. says. Does he talk to you? My father saw Tagalo in dreams many years ago. He said that if anyone touched that box, great harm would come to this island. Now, you've broken the taboo. He must go. <laughs> God's not to punish us for what you've done. So your father had a vision, huh? You must go. Not now. George. I want you to help my friends from the ship come here for fresh water. My father would not like it. Oh, but I would like it. Very much. Those fuzzards won't know it's rum till they get it in them. begin to think Sister Rita did intend us to get ashore. I'll have to apologize. Look around. 
No gods. She fix that too? I don't know. Maybe we're taboo. Yeah, I don't think he likes us. Fresh water comes in over there. Watch me. I make magic with this big shaker. New kind of water. Take a drink of this and it'll give you big power. Bigger than magic. Bigger than taboo. Here, try it. Take a drink. Go on. <laughs> Good, eh? <coughs> it is hot. Takes a fire in the head. Hey, you boys try it. Let me see that throw, boy. Recognize this? This is the pearl the teacup stole when he left the island. Tagalog punished him for it. He wouldn't punish the chief's son if he dove for them, would he? The law says not to touch the pearls. I cannot. Not even one for me, George. Just one. Give me more drink. I will dive for Bill. <laughs> That's my fella, boy. No. Nobody dies for the pearls. Hey, wait a minute. You're diving for those pearls. You're diving for if I have to tie a weight around you and throw you in that pool. Stop it! I buy a lot of things, Bully. Not murder. Why, you... What the devil is that? At the temple. I'm a skull. Don't go. Listen to us, your children. You guard against the ships that bear our enemies. Give me a sign that I may hear and obey. And what does the god Laka say? He does not speak again until the strangers leave. And if the strangers do not leave? I told you, he will speak no more. I will speak. If the strangers do not leave, they must all die. No, Halamano. When the moon rises twice, the strangers will be gone. I will carry this word to them myself and let no hand be raised against them. <laughs> Good, eh? <laughs> George! Well, if it isn't Mr. Tagalawa, in person. George! Go to my house. Let's <laughs> stay here. No harm in his having a little bit of fun, is there? You scum of the sea, spreading your poison. One hour ashore and you start your vile tricks. Yeah? And what about your tricks, Mr. White God? Stop it, Bully. Oh, he's no different from the rest of us. He'll bleed like any other man. Bully! Go back to your ship. You're not giving orders to your fuzzheads now. We stay here till we want to go. On this island, my word is law. Go back to you. Like he had a stroke. Well, that's what I call real nice of the old man. Now we can get on with our pearl fishing without any interference. Better get him back to his house. Take George back to the ship. Keep him there till he sobers up. Father, come on, George. That'll take care of him. What are we going to do? Stay here till it's dark, then we'll get out. What if he dies? Nothing we can do about it. 
You got what we came for and leave. Forget the pearls, Dan. Let's go now. What? I've lied and I've cheated. And maybe you think I've been a lot of things to a lot of men. Well, I can't do this to Michael. Please, Dan, don't you see? Going now is the one decent thing we can do. Leaving now isn't going to wash us any cleaner. We came for pearls. We're not going to leave without them. Michael was right. We brought evil. But we brought a bigger evil than ourselves. Better come along, Rita. Get out. Pretty riled up, ain't they? They find out about Mr. Almighty. They will any minute. We're running out of friends pretty fast. <laughs> this is the only friend we need. And there's plenty more in the hold. George and me had a little drink together. He's agreed to dive for us. What'd you do? Hit him with a jug? Now, would I go busting our best diver? I convinced him how tender Rita's feelings were for him. Rita's out of this. Okay, Danny. Okay. That's how you feel about it. Our friends below sleeping it off. You know the first thing I'm going to do once we sail this junk out of here? No. Ram your teeth down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't mind having you try once we got the pearls in our pockets. There it is. the taboo of the pool. <laughs> He's waited many years. Maybe for me. I've come here many times to sit and watch this devil. Sometimes I fed him fish. Now maybe I'll be fish for him. <laughs> He's got big arms. But I've got a strong one. You gonna do it, George? I will kill the devil! George, still below. Black as ink down there. Can't see a thing. Looks like he was right about that taboo. <laughs> Shells. Only these. Seed pearls? What sort of a trick is this? They're no good to us. It's the black pearls we want. Like this one. It's like a big black moon. 
Only this one's shining right at me. I'm money, it says. Hard money. And I can buy all the readers in the world. How about that, George? Get the black pearls, George. Where these came from. Now, the black pearls are taboo. These pearls can buy you everything in the world, you and Rita. You're coming with us. If I dive again, I'll keep half of all I bring up. That's fair enough. Well, no point in arguing about a little thing like that. Go on. What do you want? To see Tuan Michael. The men from the ship have done bad things. Our people say that you have put a spell on Tuan Michael's son. Michael is sick. You can't see him. He can't speak. Tuan Michael. Tuan Michael. You have brought the anger of the gods upon him. They have punished him for not making you leave the island. No, Halemano. I come from his world. I know something about his sickness. I can take care of him. Then take care of him. The god has spoken. Let the moon rise twice. If you and the white man do not go from the island. Keep her here. George. George. Has George come? No, Tuan Michael. Everything is over. I guess I always knew it would come like this. Now there's nothing I can do. You will get well. You must. That's what the drums are asking of Tagaloa. But Tagaloa will not be able to answer their prayers this time. What about these? There must be something here that can help you. Oh, for cuts and bruises. But nothing for an old man's tired heart. Don't say that, Mr. Michael. You don't know. Here is my image of Tagaloa. It will pass you through the guards. Take it. Hurry back to the ship, Rita. Hurry before it's too late. No. You love the one named Dan. I hate him. He is sick, too. Soul sick. But you can make him well. I couldn't speak before. <laughs> Save your strength. What I could hear. I trust you, Rita. There's another reason I've driven white men away from this island. I know. I understand. There are pearls here, black pearls, gathered by the prince who came here long ago. He knew the power for evil that was in them, so he hid them away. But I found them. And I've held them in sacred trust for my people. If outsiders should come to know about them, it would destroy the island. Forgive me, Tuan Michael. Forgive me. Rita. Rita. George, your father's very sick. He's been calling for you. Tonight, the ship sails. I'm going with it. I give these to you, Rita. No, no. You asked me to get the pearls. I've broken the most sacred law to get them. Police said if I got the pearls, you'd be my wanna. No, George, listen to I me. Listen to me. Police waiting for you back at the lagoon. Bring up those black pearls. They are for Rita, not you. If she doesn't want the pearls, I won't get them. We're throwing a farewell luau at the other side of the island. That'll keep him busy till we're through. I'll meet you on the boat. You got everything all figured out, haven't you? Not everything. 
There are a few things left. How's Michael? Still fighting. Whether to keep from living or dying, I wouldn't know. Go on, George, get going. The pearls that Rita doesn't want? That I don't want? George, I'll be your woman. All yours. But here on the island. George, get back to the lagoon. Give them the pearls. Give them everything and then send them away. Then come back. I'll be waiting for you here. George, we have looked upon each other. I have promised not to look at any other man again. Please see that he comes to no harm or does any evil. Give him back to me. Crawl into your diving suit. We gotta work fast. Then pull out. I'm not going with you. I'm staying here with Rita. Oh. So Sister Rita's been doing a little of her own missionary work, eh? You mean she's staying here with you and leaving the pearls? Yes. Dan know about this? Yes. Hey, wait, George. Why not keep uh, everybody happy and make one last little dive, huh? If I get the black pearls for you, you promise to leave the island and never come back? Sure, sure. I'm fine, George. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Never can figure on a woman when there's temptation lying around. and all your people must be gone. No argument about that. And the white woman, too. Tito, Roca. Get back to the boat. I'm not going, Dan. You've got to. I know how you feel. I feel the same way about him. But if he dies, we'll never get off this island alive. Got what you came for, now hoist the anchor. Not without you. I thought a fistful of black pearls was worth anything. 
Even sailing with a man whose guts I hated. We used every dirty trick in the book, Dan. Maybe it wasn't only black pearls I was after. Maybe I was just trying to wipe out a bad memory. Well, now you've rubbed off, Dan. You and the pearls. You mean it, don't you? Michael, if you can hear me, talk some sense into her head. She doesn't belong here any more than I do. Leave him alone. Go. Go! Go with him, Rita. I'm not going. Is George going with them? No, he's staying. He'll be here soon, I promise. Do you suppose you could say a prayer for an old man? Who, me? <laughs> I'm not a missionary. Yes, I've known. But there are words on that book you carried. Whether he be a sinner, I know not. But this I do know. I was blind. Now I see. Help me. Help me find my way. priest has been stabbed. All the women go to their homes, the men to their spears. Bring your son home, Michael. George! You will not move from this room.
to the beach. back for me and the pearls are going with you. They're going to let him take this out on Rita. Go on, get forward. Danny, we we'll split the pearls between us. Just you and I. You're going back to the island. Alemano! Get to the forward hatch. Shoot, Rita, shoot! ship went down under the sea. Dan. And the white man with it. You come. O oh God, Laka, the son of our high priest has been stabbed. Juan Michael, our beloved high priest, is stricken. Tagaloha has deserted us. God, Laka, give us word. What must we do with the stranger who has brought about these evil things? Laka has spoken, not in anger, but in sacrifice. It's you that are speaking, Halamano, to get them to do your will. Drums, calling for sacrifice. No, Tuan Michael, you are not able to do this. I must. Help me. God, Laka, we make this sacrifice to you in the way of our fathers. Tuan Michael! 
Paul Michael! We took your son to the temple. He will live! He's calling for Mamou. Mamou! Go! Go quickly, Mamou! Destroying something more, much more. Every good thing the high priest has done for you, every good thing he's brought to the island is being destroyed because of revenge. Alemano! Damn! Stop or I'll shoot. Godlaka has demanded her life. Your bullet cannot change this. Tagaloa has decreed that these two shall live. And the others were lost? The one who stabbed your son is dead. Laka decrees sacrifice. Did the god Laka give me the power to speak again and walk? Hear me and obey. My son will live. Peace and happiness will return again to the island. Let me stay and help you, Twan Michael. Yeah, and about tomorrow when the next ship passes? It'll be just another day, another ship. Then let them stay. And our people shall be their people. And our home, their home. Go in peace. Come, Halamano. We have a wedding to finish. You know, it's a funny thing. Even when I hated you, I loved you. You know something funnier? I'm going to kiss a missionary. <laughs> 